Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my playlist on hematology and oncology. In the previous video, I've talked about chronic myeloid leukemia. Today, let's talk about the blast crisis in CML. As you know, chronic myeloid leukemia is a chronic leukemia, which means the cells are more mature, such as the neutrophil. But in the blast crisis, there is transformation into the blast phase, which is an earlier more immature stage such as these blasts that's why blast phase in cml behaves exactly as an acute leukemia which is not fun on my previous lecture titled introduction to leukemia and lymphoma we have discussed this slide acute leukemia you have blasts greater than usually 20 percent this is acute leukemia. Chronic leukemia, you have mature cells called sites, and blasts are usually non-existent or less than 10%. CML is a chronic leukemia, which means blasts should be less than 10%. When there is a transformation to the acute leukemia, you have blasts greater than 20%. This is called the blast crisis. And back to our famous slide. Chronic myeloid leukemia is supposed to be here, but now it's going back to the blasts, to the immature cells. This is called blast crisis or transformation. Now let's turn our attention to the phases of chronic myeloid leukemia. You have three phases. Chronic phase, accelerated phase, and blast crisis. In the chronic phase, usually patients are asymptomatic or mild symptoms. They are very responsive to treatment in this phase and most patients are diagnosed here. Then, if you do not treat them, they, they go to the accelerated phase. Here we have splenomegaly, basophilia, and we start seeing some blasts. Then they transform to the blast crisis. 20% of the cells are blasts. Some sources argue that they are indeed 30%. Anyways, lots of blasts. When you see lots of blasts, this is by definition acute leukemia. So clinically, it behaves as an acute leukemia. This is refractory to treatment. You have blasts and basophilia. And th since it's refractory to treatment, this is the cause of death from CML. Due to rapid cell turnover in this phase, you'll have hypophosphatemia because as you know, phosphate is more prevalent inside of the cell than outside of the cell. So rapid cell turnover will lead to phosphate exiting the cell because these will rupture. So, blast phase or blast crisis. Clinically speaking, you have a patient with fever, usually unexplained, fatigue, as well as infection, significant weight loss, some platelet abnormalities could be bleeding or thrombotic events, such as thrombi or strokes, increased basophilia will lead to increased histamine release leading to pruritus which is a fancy word for itching diarrhea and flushing on the lab you'll find blasts greater than 20 percent which is by definition an acute leukemia and you will have basophilia okay here's a mnemonic for you blast phase blasts and basophilia because it's refractory to treatment. In this order, I've uploaded this video and this is today's video, so make sure to subscribe so that you never miss a new video. 
that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing to my youtube channel i'd like you to see you on facebook where you can communicate comment and you have extra stuff there or you can message me directly also follow me on soundcloud if you'd like to support this channel on patreon you will receive early access to all of my videos plus some extra notes and extra stuff and thank you so much this is medicosis perfectionalis i'll see you next time be safe stay happy and study hard